for watching Rural TV. Stay tuned for National Tractor Pullers Association, only on Rural TV. We're back in action for you. This week we're coming to you from the Browns County NTPA Nationals presented by the Cal Hall Brothers. A very successful dealership in that part of the country, Southern Ohio, brings a very popular class to this area. This is kind of like the home base of two-wheel drive pulling. However, the big story is those on top last year are not there this year. That's right. Last year's defending champions, the Sullivans, aren't anywhere near the top ten at this moment, but it's only one event into the season. Georgetown's known for a great power track. A lot of things could shake up here tonight. Right now in the top three are three young guns, R.J. Simon, Kylo Knapp, and also Davy Skinner. So those three guys are in the top three but anything can happen here tonight well it's kind of interesting uh poker table there's four people that can sit at it we know who three of them are they're worried about who the fourth guy is going to be and i tell you what if i was worried about the sullivans coming after me i think i'd really have something to worry about ashley's down there with the sullivans trucks right now hi greg and army i'm here with the sullivan memorial truck this is owned by the sullivan pulling team and last year they were points champion in 2007 for the two-wheel drive division they are in Georgetown, Ohio tonight, which is only an hour and a half from home, which makes it their closest to hometown pull. So they would love nothing more than to win here tonight. You know, she's exactly right. As Big Ed Red comes out, that'll be Wayne Sullivan, patriarch of the family. Kind of an interesting story. She said that truck that she was standing next to was a memorial truck. Eddie, the brother, is who this truck is memorial to. Wayne's ready to back up, take a shot, won many national championships, because he's just trying to show the kids the way to do it, right? Yeah, this is a Chevy S10, 540 cubic inch, two black Hemi. Nice pull. Let's see if the numbers come up. Yeah, 276 with a three. Now the question is, will he take or reject the pull? The pulling force got a unique grade because the first puller is considered a test puller, and he has the option to accept or reject the pull. I hear he's taking it. Yeah, 276 is going to be the number they're going after. You're riding with him. This is what it looked like. Let's see if anybody else can better that number. Uh, 20 some trucks back there, it's awful good. That's, uh, that's about all I could do on that track. Now, only shot I got if they don't get better. And, uh, and we got a couple more trucks back there in the pack, so if it gets better, maybe one of them can win. So he's saying the track he feels like he's betting it's not going to get better. Or just stay the same, maybe the way it's And the little Willis comes out, little 48 Willis comes out now, the wicked Willis. Yeah, this is Doug Theobald out of Shelbyville, Indiana. You know, this is the hometown to a couple of our favorite pulling fans, Grant Theobald and his brother Mason. We see them all the time, and he always gives us a high five in the pits. I'd like to say hello to our buddies, Grant and Mason. A lot of people really get involved in this sport. The family side of it is one thing I find very, very interesting. Second, third generation Fuller Sullivan family's perfect example right there. Your leader comes up on the board. That's him, Wayne Sullivan at 276. Look at Willie's going after. Boy, Greg, he seemed heavy on the nose. He didn't even look like he was, yeah, 265 with the six. Sullivan stays on top. Missed the weight in that class that looked like, too yes. heavy. And he's got a competition dynamics uh, unit on board that tells him all his RPM, cylinder temperatures, all those things. I'm sure he'll go back and analyze that and uh, go at it another day. Yeah, I guarantee you. But I also I guarantee you the bullet comes out now. And uh, it's Eddie Carey out of Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. And uh, he won our Italy pull-off last year with this truck. You know, you're going to see a lot of vehicles in this class from Kentucky and southern uh, Ohio and the uh, Indiana area. This is a hot, this class is really, really popular around here. 
Yes, and uh, again, uh, he's trying to make his way up in the top five in the points this year. And uh, right now sits in sixth place, seventh place in this track. And you can hear that supercharger whining as it sucked the air in at 265 with the two. Sullivan may be a profit. This track doesn't look like it's holding the horsepower. Yes, it looks like uh, he had a good run there being the test puller, had a perfectly uh, manicured and rolled track and uh, may play to his favor. This is RJ Simon. He's out of Farley, Iowa. He's our early return points leader. And uh, hey, this is the old blue Ford T bucket 1923. And he was the 2007 Pennzoil Cup winner. And uh, he's got a lot of uh, lineage here. His dad, Roger, is a former NTP Grand National title holder a couple times over. So yeah, to, uh, to be such a young man, he's got a lot of pulling experience under him as a crew member, growing up with his dad, then going over to the driver's seat. Now he's just trying to go 276. Tell you what, everybody's keeping the front one. Now he got the front end up, but he didn't really yank it up. He's back in the 263. Yeah, the last three have been right in there with that two foot, uh, two feet of each other. It's kind of interesting in this sport how the drivers hold their hands out. It's a safety precaution. Let people know not to get next to the vehicle. Little Red comes out now. This truck kind of started it all years ago. It's part of the Sullivan pulling team. We got one Sullivan on the point. Let's see what this guy can do with his heat. Yeah, Steve Grouse, uh, he's from Cold Springs, Kentucky. He had crewed for the Sullivans for a few years, and then he got his own vehicle last year. This is Little Red, and uh, I'm sure the Sullivans gave him some information from their first run. Let's see how he uses that information. See what the numbers show that cylinder did not come around for him he was look at here we got a new leader at 276 by just about a half a foot yeah definitely he learned something off of wayne sullivan there and uh just had enough information got him a half a foot pass as we go to our replay with the shop ntppool.com what i was talking about you want to see don't want to see liquid coming out of a cylinder and these guys are really laboring those motors steve i talked to wayne one of the other trucks in your stable just a little bit ago, and I told him his pass might have been the one to win it, but you just got him by five tenths of a foot. Well, that's got to really make me feel good because, uh, you know, Wayne's one of the best out here, and after he run, we all got together, and I asked him, what do I got to do to get out there with Wayne? But uh, if I'm past him, I guess that's even a little better. You'll take one, too, for now, right? I'll take one. It's about my turn. And now back to Greg Randall and Army Armstrong. Hey, welcome back to Georgetown, Ohio. We told you to keep an eye open for the Sullivan brothers, and it looks like they're clawing their way back to the top. Yeah, you know, it's really interesting how things play out. Uh, Steve Grouse is leading the class right now, followed by Wayne Sullivan. Uh, early on yet, there's a few more back there that definitely have a, a chance here on this tough track. And, uh, you know, the sled might be a little tight here tonight. There's rain in the area. We're trying to get this show through for all the fans to see, but uh, so far, so good for the Sullivan team. Well, somebody's back into the sled right now. Let's see what's going to happen. Actions speak louder than words. You know, one thing about this class, you're going to get, get the majority of it. What a lot of people think a two-wheel drive vehicle could be, what exactly are we looking at here? Well, this is Chuck Knapp in a 1932 Chevy, and uh, this is a 2007 regional champion. Here he is running as a rookie on the Grand National Circuit out of Charles City, Iowa. He's a farmer. He calls us the Back 40. It's a good looking machine. Yeah, in reference to a farmer term, but he got a Chevy body, but that's a Hemi sitting in there making that horsepower. Going after that 276, that's your lead. Uh, the track will hold it. We just found that out. Trying to get on the other side of a 276 with an 8. Does he do it? No, a 263 and a 5, Greg. Yeah, uh, not what Chuck was looking there for there, but his first visit to Georgetown, Ohio, he's learned a lot. And here comes his son, Kylo Knapp, on the 80 acres. 
And if they look identical, they kind of are. It's a 1932 Chevy again, extended cab. And it was built in 2004. This is the 2007 Region 3 champ, also a Grand National rookie in the two-wheel drive class. So you got father and son here tonight. Fine for that rookie back of the year. 40 and 80 acres. That looked like a decent run to me. He, the 271 yeah. with the 7, yeah, he took some weight off the back, put it on the front. That's one of those young guns we were talking about who's right now second in the points, and uh, he just put himself above Mr. R.J. Simon with that run. Okay, now we've seen the other vehicles with the older body styles. Look what we got coming out here, and then also look at the injector scoop on this vehicle. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, it's a 2002 Ford Ranger, and this is uh, two-timing Jesse Petro, Camden, Ohio. And his dad, Randy, and mother, Kathy, they all are a big portion of the Petro Pulling family. They got three two-wheel drive trucks. This one here is the one, and it's got that new Miner Brothers Rhino Hemi motor. And he shoots for that, Steve Grouse Lee. That was a kiss of death. He only made that pull on seven cylinders. Still goes to 266 with the two. Looks like they're still trying to work the bugs out on this thing, Greg. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of pulling left to go here in the 2008 season. Another little 23 Ford comes up now. He's a little bit all fired up about this thing. Uh, who we got going? Well, this is Eddie Carey. We saw him earlier in the class. He had the bulletproof truck. Now he comes out with his 23 T-bucket and uh, this is a very formidable machine. He is uh, coming out here trying to better his other mark. You know, it's interesting in, in motorsports, NASCAR, for example, a three vehicle team, they share information. This is the same driver in two vehicles. You don't have to share it, you already know it. Well, that run looks like that's going to put him up another top. He has third place right now. He's still chasing Steve Grouse and Wayne Sullivan. Ashley standing by with both men. Ashley, what do you have for us? Greg and Army, I'm sitting here with the Sullivan guys. Well, the Grouse and Sullivan guys. We got number one and number two right now, and we're looking at 300 foot. You guys are just shy of that. Do you think it's going to hold up? I sure like to see it hold up, but there's a lot of good trucks back there that can beat us. You got number two. And you got a son coming up, Wayne. Does he have a chance? I think he can beat us. And uh, I think there's one or two more if they get everything right can beat us. But uh, I hope he don't. But I'd like to see my boy beat Well, stay tuned to see. You know, it's kind of interesting. Like I said, the air, the, the air density, you tune the motor. Now, they're down on the Ohio River. Plus, it looks like it's going to rain any minute. So they got to really tune these engines. Speaking of tuning, the husband had to tune this one up. Give us a little story on this girl. Yeah, this is Arlene Archer out of Little Ohio, and uh, she has been campaigning this truck for a couple years. First time on the Grand National Circuit. It's a 1937 Chevrolet body, 526 cubic inch Chevrolet engine. Dave Archer, her husband, former champion. Looking a little bit to the left, that's going to cost her big time. Yeah, 268 and 8, uh, kind of short of the leaders there, but uh, boy, that's a good looking truck there at the Pioneer Motorsports team. Vintage Country Ways wants you to take a step back in time on rural TV. Your host, Eddie Garrard, who grew up and worked on a farm in Suffolk Village, invites you to experience real horsepower working the soil and the bygone era of steam engines. If you're interested in the people, machines and animals that once shaped the landscape and enjoy handmade crafts and the old time way of life, tune in to Vintage Country Ways right here on Rural TV. Everybody's chasing the Sullivan team. They're close to home. They're sitting on a point of this thing. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's Simon Says comes to the line. This team has been around a long time and definitely has the ability to take the lead in this class, doesn't he? That's right. This is R.J. Simon again driving his dad's 
Dodge Dakota, 1986. And I mentioned that Roger's a champion over seven times, actually. And uh, right now, he sent RJ down uh, with this truck from Iowa. And uh, RJ, again, had one chance at the track earlier with Old Blue. Let's see what he can do with the Simon Says Dodge, sponsored by some Pico. Second shot, new truck. Knowledge is there. They're going across track big time, Ooh, big time. Yeah. Right there. 278 with a three, man. Wow, he took over the lead and uh, not by very much, uh, about a foot and a half, uh, but he learned something for sure. Let's go here to the replay. Now you gotta remember, he pulled over in a different vehicle. He's lined the sled up to the extreme right side of the track, but look where he ends up. He comes across the track. RJ, he just passed second place by almost two feet. You're driving dad's truck. He's not even here tonight, but I'm sure he's going to be pretty proud. You think it's going to hold up for the rest of his class? Oh, it's hard telling. A lot of tough competitors back there. I'm just real happy to be here running the circuit. Uh, hope I can win her. Make Dad proud. He didn't get too excited about anything. That kid's been around pulling forever. Speaking of that, look who's coming out now. This is the third generation, yeah, third generation of puller, Donnie Sullivan. Follows a tremendous heritage, doesn't he? He sure does, and he's the defending 2007 NTPA Grand National Champion in the two-wheel drive category. And uh, we got a KB Hemi on board, 2005 Chevy Colorado. Going to go on the other side of 278 with the three hometown boys, if he can do it. Yeah, let's see if the local kid did it. Yeah, 284 with the nine. We got a new leader, and he's not far from home. Yeah, six feet on uh, Simon there. Nice run. His dad was very prophetic what he said there, that he thought his boy could do it. You look at the sled cam replay. Boy, a very nice run. Got the lift there at the end. Puts her down there, 284, and into the lead, and he's with Ashley. Donnie, dad ran, Steve ran. They held first and second forever and got passed just a few trucks ago. Then you come out here and put six feet on that guy. Did you learn something from the first two trucks or did the truck just run perfect? What happened? Well, we had some trouble with it in Toma. We never could get it to run the way we wanted to, but uh, running behind our other two team trucks really helped. This is a great class of trucks the NTPA has got this year. It was the Simon boys back in the Naps and Kerry and Skinner. I mean, it's a great class. We're glad NTPA has got something for us to run like this with Penzl's help. And uh, glad to have Max Brake on board this year. A little extra sponsorship for the series. Tell you what, that's a class operation of Sullivan family. Let's see if they can stay on top of the thing. I got another guy from the Bluegrass going after him. Yeah, this is Davey Skinner. He's a firefighter. And he's on the BP Racing Fuels Bad Company 41 Willys. Right now he's in third place in the points. And uh, hey, he likes to take his son to do some junior drag racing. Stayed down, he went right down the right hand side of the track. I don't think we're going to get the number. No, a 270, not a bad number, but he was uh, eight shy on that one. Yes, yeah, certainly. And out runs uh, another part of that father son theme we've had all night long. This is Randy Petro. We saw Jesse earlier in the two time truck. He comes out here with Kathy's complaint. And uh, boy, look at the injector on that army. He's got four. Yeah, he can suck a lot of air into that thing. Now, alcohol for fuel, you've got to, got to mix fuel and air to make horsepower. He's trying to get as much air in the thing, a lot of overdrive on the uh, blower. Boy, not going to take over the lead, and that looked a lot like Davy Skinner's run. That's a tenth of a foot shorter, 269 and 9. But you know what? Randy's getting anxious because behind him, the last hook of the night, Jesse Petro, one more shot at that Sullivan mark, and they're probably thinking about that. I'll guarantee you right now, the Sullivans have got to be worried about this guy. They know what he can do. Jesse Petro comes out, been down the track already once, so he knows what it's going to take to get on the other side of the Sullivan boys. And yeah. they do too, as they're sitting right at that 300 foot mark waiting to see what's going to happen. They just got to dodge one more bullet, and this is it.
You can see him down on the horsepower at the right hand, but it's not going to work. Nope, it's not going to take the win here tonight in Georgetown, Ohio. It looks like it's going to be the Sullivan team. And here's Ashley with the jubilant Sullivan team in the winner's circle. Donnie, it's a big joke, but you guys have really made it the Sullivan show tonight. First, third, and fourth. You let one sneak in there, but you made an impressive pass. I told you you could tell from the start line that you were coming with all that you had. Tell me how it felt. I mean, first place, of course, is amazing, but how did the run feel? Oh, that was a great group of trucks. Uh, the truck ran flawlessly. It, we've been having tr trouble with that thing, but uh, it's t starting to come around. I just want to thank my crew. I got the best crew in the business right here. I mean, we have a lot of fun, and we work hard at it. And uh, get first, third, and fourth out of 22 of the best in the country, is uh, I'm proud of it.